I don't understand how to find the vibration or to get to a vibration on how to manifest the body that I want. And I've done it before. <laughs> I've been there and I always lose it. And I don't understand. Like, I guess I get what I did last time. And when I was conscious of when I was losing weight and getting to where I wanted to, I was still very negative and not happy. And I feel much happier now, but I still want the thing that I want. And I'm just trying. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be happy. We're just teasing you. Oh, I'm like, is that true? <laughs> we should never attempt sarcasm. It doesn't go over well. <laughs> Not with bright, shiny people. The most important thing to realize is that it's a process of figuring it out for yourself. Esther had a conversation with someone just a couple of days ago. And Esther was talking about her desire for fairness. She was talking about it among the people in her world, this feeling of fairness or balance as far as it is coming from her. And then Esther said, finally, I don't know when it happened, but I finally come to the awareness it was sort of a gradual thing that it's not my job to make everything between everybody fair. But I have discovered that I have to be in balance with whatever it is that I am doing. So all I have to do is figure out how to be balanced between me and me. Well, the thing that's interesting about things like your appearance, your body weight, anything that has to do with your physicality is that most of you have a whole lot of other opinions involved in that than just you and you. Yeah. In other words, when you said, I mean, I'm happy. Yeah. The angels sang for a minute because that's all that is ever necessary in order for you to thrive so you got to just be happy consistently let's start another place this is really what you're reaching for but a little basis here will help you okay so we believe that you believe that you create your own reality we know that you get how it works and we know that you are understanding that there is a vibrational basis and that you understand your emotional guidance system so when there is a desire in place and there is a strong desire what's in your vortex is really pleasing to you in so many regards the only thing you have to do is find more balance with that which means don't look at or remember or talk to others about things that contradict that because the only thing that matters is you being in the receptive mode about that so the easiest thing is to get off the subject that is more challenging and on subjects that do not challenge because the receptive mode is what you are wanting. How do you turn any vision or idea of what you want into a physical reality? Well, the thing that's hardest, especially as it regards your physical body, is that your physical body sort of goes most everywhere you go. And so you are aware of it. You are aware of how it sits and how it stands and how it moves and how it wears clothes and how it looks. But most of all, you're aware of how it is seen by those who are seeing it. That's the part that is the most crippling is too strong of a word, but it does really slow you down. Mm -hmm. So what we're wanting you to do is realize that your work is to make your gap all important and everything else far, 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 far less important. So an easy way to go about this is to focus on something else that is important to you, but that is already in vibrational alignment, something where it's easy for you to be in the receiving mode about it and use that as your alignment, getting into alignment. You know what we mean by that? getting into alignment, being vibrationally up to speed with who you really are, feeling good, feeling frisky, letting your emotions move from being interested to being excited, to being eager, to feeling passion, love and appreciation. There was just moving around in that end of the emotional stick where you mostly feel good. That's what the receptive mode is. Let's put it this way, just in terms of the vibration being higher or lower, the better you feel, the more natural you are, the worse you feel, the more unnatural you are. And it doesn't matter what subject you're using as your excuse to not feel good. You've still got a subject that is being used by you. It's like a wheel that's spinning very fast. And then you put a crowbar in the spokes. It stops the wheel. That's what resistance is. Resistance is anything that is opposing to the higher frequency. It slows it down. 
so when you realize that your frequency is naturally high and that unless you were doing that thing you do that is adding resistance to it that is lowering it it will be high it's like the cork bobbing on the surface of the water that's where you naturally are you can hold the cork under the water but when you let go of it it's gonna bob right back up there so the key to being in the receptive mode is not holding the cork under the water which means not focusing on those things that make you not feel good which means an awareness of what makes you not feel good you know what makes you not feel good isn't just around this subject that you're working on it's lots of other things so you can't be in the receptive mode about one thing if you're not in the receptive mode because some other thing is bothering you okay we've been offering this analogy for a long time but you could have 10 subjects in your life of course there are more but let's say 10 and nine of them could be going really well and any one of those you could focus on which would hold you up here in the receptive mode which means you would be turning these thoughts to things really really easily but if there's one thing that is really bothering you if you're like so many humans you've got your nearly undivided attention on that one thing because you got to find that problem wrestle it to the ground and kill it <laughs> and so you use that one thing that isn't going well as your reason to hold yourself out of the receptive mode we're going to use that phrase a lot today because out of the receptive mode is the only problem you've got that's the only problem you ever have is being out of the receptive mode because if you're in the receptive mode then you're tuned in tapped in turned on then you're at the right place at the right time then things are unfolding easily for you then those thoughts are turning to things easily do you ever all of a sudden say oh I just got the best idea you were in the receptive mode until you thought about it for a minute <laughs> realize it's impossible for you to do that thing <laughs> hold the cork under the water and so you could have 10 subjects and nine of them really not doing well right now and one of them doing fine and you could focus upon that one hold yourself in this receptive mode and the other nine would have to follow suit so use anything and everything that you can to get yourself in the receptive mode have we convinced you that there is one do you know that there is a vibrational version of you that is just pulsing and thriving and presenting itself to you but if you're over here looking at reality then you're holding the frequency of what isn't and what is wanting to become can't become because you've got the vibration of what isn't so rampant in your vibration we think it is thrilling that a large number of people on this planet understand that understand that it is frequency and that it is emotional and that your emotions are your first usually conscious realization or manifestation we want to call your emotions a manifestation don't they feel real mm. go to a scary movie it feels real enough doesn't it you know that guy's not coming out of the bushes after you <laughs> but he might as well be because <laughs> of the way you're feeling in other words you're having an emotion that is a reality so part of the thing I'm having an issue with is it, it directly involves somebody else and but this is the thing that we were wanting to point out to you earlier even though something directly involves somebody else they are really irrelevant yeah the only thing that is relevant is where you are and your desire that's what's relevant so then how do I get past the place where I feel completely frozen, stuck, of allowing? We're happy to talk with you about whatever it is you want to talk about here. But the specific answer to that question is you thaw out a little bit at a time. And what we just gave to you earlier about taking the nine subjects that are working and use them as your reason to be in alignment. Here's the thing that you might not be remembering it's a common thing that people forget you've already asked the question life has already caused you to ask for what you want mm -hmm. and source has already answered it so the solution has already assembled and is ripe for your receiving of it mm -hmm. but you've got to get into that receiving mode in order to hear it mm -hmm. and so the only thing that matters is being in the receiving mode because okay it's already been asked and answered you've just got to get into the receiving mode and so 
the specific answer to your question is whatever it takes for you to feel better even if it means avoid that situation for a little while in other words you're sort of doing what we were saying earlier you're taking that one thing and you're giving it so much attention and in giving it so much attention you're holding yourself out of vibrational alignment and then struggling with all of that when we just explained to you not to do that it's really funny because i believe that so much and so i really focus on just being happy and finding the things that make me happy and then focusing on those and i really tried to like when i'm sitting in the car i'm noticing my body it's just, i can just feel it and i'm just like okay get that out of there what am i happy about you know because i don't know how to change it otherwise you know what happens when your inner being notices your body first of all when your inner being notices anything oh get out somewhere today have you seen this day out there <laughs> so when your inner being looks out at the horizon feel what it feels like when your inner being appreciates something and if you want to know what it feels like when your inner being appreciates something you find something to appreciate and stay focused on it long enough that you allow your receptive mode to fully allow source energy to flow through you in this moment so that's how your inner being feels when it focuses and so if you're in the car looking at your body and feeling unhappy with yourself for some reason you're out there on the raw and ragged edge without your inner being because your inner being does not feel that way well I know that's the thing that we want you to understand we want it to not be about your body we want it to be about your receptive mode mm -hmm. we want it to not be about your body we want it to be about your alignment with source energy we want it to not be about your body we want it to be about you being a vessel that is vibrationally in sync with source energy and is allowing source energy to flow through you we are not wanting to use the word opinion because that is sort of a word that you don't like very much but your inner being has a perspective has a point of view has an opinion about everything and it is a point of view of strength and power and clarity and love and appreciation mm -hmm. so when you train yourself into vibrational alignment with that then you begin to feel that way that's what empowerment is that's what upliftment is that's what true alignment is that's what true mastery is it's being in vibrational sync with who you are and not letting anything not letting anything be important enough that it get between you and your alignment nothing matters more than your alignment nothing matters more nothing matters more nothing matters more nothing matters more than my alignment nothing matters more nothing matters more so you're looking at yourself and sort of not happy with what you see and thinking about somebody else looking at somebody who uh, who's sort of trained you with a critical eye not liking what they see and we say really you're going to choose that perspective over the perspective of source you're going to choose that disempowering perspective over the perspective of source and here's the thing a lot of times people hear us rant like this because we get pretty wound up <laughs> And they think that what we're trying to do is try to get you to just accept yourself as things are and just be an allower of the status quo. And that is not what we are getting at at all. We're wanting your alignment to be what matters, understanding that in alignment, everything else that you want will fall into place. Yeah, I get that. And I feel like I don't understand why or how my mind just keeps going to these places okay well, my question all right so don't be hard on yourself about that because law of attraction is the reason for that okay. because there is momentum in the thought and so whenever a thought is within you that's what a belief is a belief is just a thought that has momentum a belief is just a thought that you've thought enough that it has this friendly active place in your vibrational frequency and so it's just easy to go there because you've practiced it enough so then and how do i change it when that happens you don't change it on that subject you get into the receptive mode on other on subjects get in the receptive mode on other subjects okay. get on the receptive mode on other subjects until the source energy perspective dominates within you you could find one thing in the whole world to love one thing in the whole world to love and as you love that one thing in the whole world to love and you use that as the reason that you hold a vibrational frequency in the place that you do what will happen is that thing that you are predominantly focused upon will become the reason that you offer a vibration like that and everything else then has to rise to that okay and so what's happening is you are not disciplined in your thought and the reason that you're not disciplined in your thought is because you've been using bogus standards for the reason that you think the way you think 
Instead of letting it be the way I feel, which is my resonance with source, you let it be what somebody else thinks. And isn't that about to drive you crazy?